When I first came to the NSF, the then assistant director told me we need to do more for technician education. To prepare people for the workforce and for further education, there needs to be a comprehensive program that looks at the student from the day they enter until the day they leave. And what Congress saw was a, a need within the United States for quality, highly prepared entry-level technicians to really keep the United States competitive. We'll start with a quick introduction on the different components of the technology. The Advanced Technological Education Program was mandated by Congress in 1992 with the Science and Technology Act. The whole impetus behind the SETA Act was the fact that there was a strong demand for science technicians. Look specifically for SQL vulnerabilities. At some point in time, some very smart person said, you know, most students who go to college go to community college. Not everybody has to have a four-year degree in order to, for them to go out into the technical field. Community colleges are the place where people can go at any point in their career and gather those high-tech skills. Community colleges have an opportunity to infuse technical content into courses so that a student is learning about their hoped for a career at the same time they're increasing their preparation in math or English. The reality is there's fantastic things going on in uh, ATE projects all over the country. People have developed very strong industry education partnerships. The students do have an opportunity, so now they get to hear some best practices that are coming out and some trends from an industry perspective. It looks okay. Yep. You know, you guys are making a product here for your biotech. Do we have our uh, GPS units all acquiring information? It was a great experience. The students got a lot out of it that they wouldn't have gotten in traditional science courses. And it also helped us strengthen our relationships with industry. ATE crosses a lot of different boundaries. It's everything from welding all the way to nanotechnology. So there's this huge range. That's why it's called advanced technological education. I truly believe that ATE is a national treasure. ATE will help put us on that national stage with all the other community colleges across the country. You use that information then to prepare. For all the different programs, the ATE program uh, delivers the most bang for the buck for the funds that we invest in technician education. The future is looking very bright. The ATE program is developing students with two-year technical degrees which are so very important to our workforce. We need more and more of them every year to be competitive with global manufacturing. ATE is such a, a tight-knit group of people and they're so interested in deep collaboration and there's never a, a moment when you don't feel what these folks are really interested in is making a difference in students' lives. We know we've succeeded because at the PI meeting, people came up to me and said, the ATE program has changed my community college, and we have developed a community.